because you stick up for this? Uh, From his political debut as a Toronto councillor in 2000, Rob Ford was an outlier. You never knew what he was going to say. Those Oriental people work like dogs. Ford won a decisive victory to become mayor in 2010, riding a tide of support from the city's outer regions. Morning. Ford immediately got to work cutting taxes, driving hard bargains with the city's unions. But it seemed he was more comfortable coaching high school football. And while his term had its missteps, <laughs> nothing prepared the city for the crack video scandal. I do not use crack cocaine, nor am I an addict of crack cocaine. Ford tried to push forward. Have you tried to obtain the video, sir? Anything else? But the evidence continued to mount, and on October 31st, 2013, police confirmed the crack video did indeed exist. I'm disappointed. This, I know this, this is a, um, a traumatic issue for the citizens of this city. The pressure mounted on Ford to step aside. You don't can't go get off my body! The admission came five months after the story first broke and surprised everyone. Yes, I have smoked crack cocaine probably in one of my drunken stupors. With no laws to remove him from office, Rob Ford was stripped of all but ceremonial powers. He took to the airwaves, to seeking redemption. I am not perfect. You're okay. done with alcohol. Finished. You know, I've had a come to Jesus moment. <laughs> Ford pressed ahead, determined as ever, running for re-election, now no longer just a scrappy politician. He'd become an international celebrity, a pop culture figure with a loyal following. He's done a marvelous job as, as the mayor. He's running a tight ship over here. My dear, my. A following that remained through more revelations. Any comment this morning? In the spring of 2014, with another photo making headlines, Rob Ford went into rehab. He's here. He returned two months later, contrite and apologetic. I will never be able to change the mistakes that I have made in the past. Rob Ford returned to the campaign trail, having seemingly survived the scandal, not knowing the biggest battle lay ahead. In the fall of 2014, Ford was checked into hospital with the rare form of cancer. This led to one of the biggest twists in Ford's dramatic term, a last-minute dash, Doug Ford taking his brother's place on the ballot, Rob instead running as counselor. I'm good, I signed in, I'll be running for mayor. On election night, he was returned to his council seat with an overwhelming majority, still promising to keep going. In his final days as mayor, the frenzy was no more. The circus was over. How do you think your mayoralty is going to be remembered? It will definitely be remembered. For that <laughs> no one's going to forget it. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto.